Hello guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon mode. This time we're gonna be uh, tackling the next gym, which is the psychic one. Do we even beat the fighting one yet? Did we beat the Jojo? Yeah, we did. Alright. That's probably how I got Pidgeot. Uh, yeah, so let's go and do this. I don't remember where to go, so we're just gonna battle trainers until we freaking figure it out. So did you guys actually think that the last episode I was just being a I was joking? No, I actually am going to be trying to get uh, Pokemon Mo finished and out of the way so that I don't have to worry about uh, anybody asking, oh what's the next episode of Pokemon Mo coming out? Well at least I don't have to worry about that anymore because I can say, oh well it's done, you just need to watch whatever's in the playlist. Which is gonna be updated um I think like after these videos or, or while these videos are being uploaded, so don't worry about that. Just pump charge, just keep on using bite, buddy. Just keep on using bite, you can do it. We believe me. Just keep on making them flinch and keep on using bite. That's it. Yeah, pump charge is just racking in points right now. He's just getting he's just getting it over. Hmm. I'll just keep using bite. Come on, Papa Jerry, you can do it. We believe in you. Everybody in the comment section, you believe in you. Do you believe that Papa Jerry can beat that slow bro? Do you? Do you? Well, you are right. Yes, you are. Good job, Papa Jerry. So, if Squish Rules is being wonky, or it's probably down because we can't get on the game servers. I will restart the connection if possible. I'll restart my connection from my computer to the internet. If the wonkiness does come in conflict with Pokemon Mo, so. So far, I think it's some of the game server because while I was raising my uh, troll uh, reputation, I'm done Hork by the way, so I'll show you guys how I got that. But I'm now on to a uh, troll. And uh, my game crashed. Or the service crashed. And right now I can't even get on. So. Does Future Sight in this actually take one turn or? Where's Gym 6 in the Saffron? You dumb. You can trade eggs. I think you can trade eggs. Oh god, dang it. Well, Puppetar failed. Wasn't this fight that I said it was? I think fail, but this one will not choke him. Go, Pidgeot. Use Wing Attack. Go and use wing attack once more, and then that should be over. Done with. I don't know if this is the proper way to EV trade, train, or whatever. Trade. But, uh, this is what I'm using. So if you want to know how I did it in Fire Red, well, I just kept on heading like left and right. And as soon like I freaking got over to the screen, I'm like, oh hi! <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, if I had the trainers, no. Nope. Did I feel like it? No. Nope. Did I feel like trying to get battle them? There's like no point in battling them for me. Yeah, me. Logically. Does Neo King even have any like great moves that can be great against Sabrina? Absolutely not. So what I could do 
is move Gyarados back in and get rid of Nidoking. For now. So for now, I can get rid of Nidoking and move in Gyarados, because Gyarados has a dark move, actually. Houndoom has a dark move, doesn't he? Well, he's got a dark move. Well, he's got a psychic resistance. So his Puchana. Puchana has also a psychic resistance. Although it's very, very underleveled. Yeah, I'll substitute Nino King for it. Gyarados. Wait, isn't Pup Turk with Dark or something? No. Okay. So last time though, I was talking about the fairy types, and I don't think I went much into detail on my uh, feelings about the makeup of one. I honestly don't care about makeup Pokemon that much for me to at least have any like uh, disagreement with them. I like how they're trying to change things up though, but don't try and make it under different show categories. Like I know like White Kyrum and Black Kyrum, I know a lot of people thought, oh it's just like polymerization from freaking you here. I know. I get it. Honestly, I actually didn't care about White Kyrum and Black Kyrum. I thought they, were, they looked kind of cool. So, yeah. Honestly, I don't like Black Iron because it looks kind of like a zombie dragon to me, but whatever. So, what do I feel? So, how do I feel about the Mega Pokemon? Well, as long as like you get a choice to turn them into Mega Pokemon, like I know, like a lot of people said, like, oh, it, you can only be you, your Pokemon can only become Mega whenever they're in battle. Is there a hold item or something like that? I know some people are saying that too, but if there is or isn't, it doesn't matter to me. But if you do have the held item though, do you have a choice to either if you want to turn a Mega or not? Because if you have no choice, then what's the point of turning a Mega then? It's almost like uh, making sure like, oh Deoxys can change his form during battle. Would you like to change his form to speed, attack, or defense? It's like clicking a secret button on the DS and all of a sudden though you get to change his form. Well, uh, I'd like to change it to speed, since speed is the one I really want to go after on this Pokemon. Oh, well, since you got pretty good heavy attack, I want to go defense on this one. You got pretty low defense, but I'm going to have to go with attack on this one. You're pretty balanced. I'm going to have to go with the normal. I don't know, are they going to come out with a new Deoxys form? I know Attack and Defense came with Gen 3, and when Gen 4 came around, I think the Speed one came out, or Speed already came out by Gen 3. I don't remember if Gen 3 had it. I know Gen 4 had it. If Gen 3 did have it, then I must have been mistaken, but I thought it was Gen uh, 4 that came. I think since then they haven't changed it. So, I don't know. Also, for Giovanni's, uh, I realize what it's called now. It's called Sprite. I forgot about it. But in case you were wondering, though, no, I don't care about the gym leaders because I have to say the gym leaders from uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver are at least a little bit better sprites than uh, Fire Red and Light Green, though. But, um, Giovanni's was cool before. I don't know why they changed it. Because Giovanni looks like a dumbass to me right now. And I just don't like him. I like. Well, I like all these kind of sprites right here because they're, they're pretty interesting. I think all of them are her gold soul soul. Uh, the sprites. So, yeah. Because that map was last time to use Timid. Doesn't that mean like more special attack or something? No more speed, less attack. I guess that's understandable for Lapras. I guess. If you don't know why it's understandable, it's because uh, Lapras is more special than physical. So as long as it's good for special attack, it's fine. 
because if you do think about it though, Lapras only has flippers. Kind of deal. So, unless it had hands, then I guess the attack would be an option. Not unless they come up with a new move called, like, Steel Flipper. Or Flipper Steel. No, Steel Flipper. Like, Steel Wing, but it, this one's only used for fish. Then I guess, or Steel Fin. Then I guess Fisco might be Lapras' new thing, but... It's not what's I don't think Lapras can learn Flash Cannon. Although a lot of people did tell me that it can. And it's really good for Lapras because it can't get over other ice types. But, uh, in my case, I don't- I wouldn't really use Lapras for ice types. I would use it over, uh, to run over other water Pokemon. Not really much ice types. Because if you don't know this, or sorry, I could just show you through the Pokedex, uh, Lapras is used by the Elite Four for this purpose, and I hate her for using it. But I can learn Thunderbolt. Now, if you don't know, if you start off with Blastoise or Charizard, you're, you're gonna have a big, like, problem with this. Because, so this becomes a time where you just go, I hate the Elite Four for this. First one's usually the tough one. Usually, not all the time. And I'm just having a big, happy, fun time with this maze right now. Oh god, I hate puzzles. Isn't this... No, okay. It's just the next one. Yeah. I think we faced everybody except for the guy over the corner there. Over here. Ish. I don't know. Uh, last time we had sound, or music, or however you want to pronounce it. Or however you want to call it. I don't care. I'm not calling that music. I'm calling that a stupid remix. Because it's not really the best remix ever. <laughs> so, I'm not really going to call it a remix. I'm going to call it a dumb one. Go bite, go. Fudge net, awesome. So we're going to actually have to win this now. Without any hits. Now we're going to get hits. But not too much though. The like, hippo's not going to do that much. Could use bite or sandstorm. Either way, they're pretty good. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so what's gonna be new? Well, all this week we're gonna try and well, I'm gonna try and finish off uh, Pokemon Mall if that's even possible. Uh, did we face you? Yeah, we did. Okay, so then never mind. So we did face everybody. I'm trying to hit back. There we go. Uh, one last uh, Pokemon Center heal, and, this, and we should be good. Uh, what's after 6th, 7th? Or is there any, like, any other backstory for Team Rocket? After this. Actually, I don't think so. Do we even have Surf? No, I don't think I ever went to the Safari Zone, have I? No. So we're gonna have to get go through the Safari Zone one, bit, one time or another. So we'll go through the Safari Zone after this. I know you, sp I know you can, you, you should have gone it before because it's better for you to have it before. But I didn't even think of it until now, so. Sure. Lodge well, as a friend. Yes, yeah, so I will accept friend request on this character. I think I messed that up. I think it's this and down here. And I think it's like across, maybe. And I think it's down here. Down here. And I think it's up here. I don't know. I'm just I'm just choosing random patterns. So this is what I did mostly. And eventually I went there, so it was pretty funny. Just ran away. 